Hello fashion sewers, in today's video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make and sew fabric belt loops. I'm Colleen Julie and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here I've got a couple of examples of belt loops, sometimes known as belt carriers. And the first one is a, a denim and as I've described in the um, title it's fabric. So um, this one is top stitched and they are different they can be different widths, all dependent on your sewing project and this is more on a casual pair of um, garments and that has no top stitching so it is a matter of you know personal choice. The first thing we need to do is make the belt loops. You're going to need a strip of fabric to the required length for the number of loops you're making and also you need to make sure it's the right measurements so that you can fold it three times the width that you require. And how I'm going to hold the belt loops together is using hemming tape. The next thing to do is to take your strip to the ironing board and put a crease line for your first fold, like so. And then you get your hemming tape and put it in between the selvage end and the fold. Come down and just get your iron and then press that into place all the way down. The belt loop is now made. I'll just show you the wrong side. If you don't have any hemming tape, the next best thing is just to do a whipping stitch just to keep the edge um, in place. Now I'm ready to cut my belt loops. Um, my belt uh, length or width is going to be five centimeters which is two inches and now I need to make sure I've got enough seam allowance so that will be a case of adding uh, two centimeters which is going to be an inch so I'll move my pin to that position and then I can start cutting as many as I require I've now sewn the belt loop into the waistline on this sample here and as you can see that's about a quarter of an inch, uh, 0.5 centimetres, that's all you need to do, this is my waistband and now the next stitch width needs to come about a centimetre which is about three eighths of an inch so I'll sew along there because we want to make sure that when we put our belting the seam line of the waist line here is not seen. So I'm going to put a stitch there, bring my loop to the top of the waistband, fold that under and then stitch either along on top for top stitching effect or you can sew underneath. And there it is, your belt loop. So it's gone into the waistline of the garment. I've sewn it one centimetre, a quarter of an inch into the garment itself and then I brought it up towards the waistband and then I actually did a row of stitching inside of the waistband to keep the waistband in place, I mean the belt loop in place. And so you've got no um, decorative stitching on that at all. And the second one I've done is here and it's the same procedure the only thing that you need to make sure before you actually sew this type of um, belt loop is to make sure you do your top stitching first and then cut your belt loops to the required length and then you're ready to sew it into the waistline onto the waistband and if I just quickly just thread the belt through there you can quickly see how it looks I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. Remember that belt loops can be decorative as well as being functional. If you have any comments or queries, please put them in the comment box below. 